Hello and welcome back to She's at the Vicarage. Happy Easter. Welcome back. This is week 13 and we're focusing on the cloakroom. But before I get into the cloakroom footage, I thought I'd share with you some footage I forgot to share with you last uh, time. And that was when I was tidying up the laundry. And so collecting up all these bits and bobs off the top, I forgot to share with you that I actually did do that. And as you can see, there's lots of random bits that collect. I don't know if you find it too, but every flat surface in this house collects stuff very, very quickly. The plant that you can see in the sink is actually from my office and I put it in there to have a good water from time to time and get its greenery back and then it's time to take it back to the office. Sometimes I forget and it lives in the sink for a long time, but it's gone back into the office now. So I'm just cleaning down all of that surface. Be lovely if it stayed like that all the time. You can see some plant stuff and that's hinting at what's going to happen next on this surface. But I'm just cleaning down the sink. You can see screwed up behind that little pot that I got from my grandma some um, waterproof trousers that were full of mud. So I actually got round to cleaning them off, cleaning them and hanging them up to dry. These paint pots have been sat on that windowsill for a while from when I painted. I just need to clean out the brushes get the plate pot and clean it all out and then that's that job done so it's a bit cleaner than it was as you can see just the jobs just the few things to go back into the garage and the rest of it was quite tidy but on good friday after doing all the services i decided it was time to do something hopeful so i started using the surface to repot and plant up all my seeds for this year hopefully um, everything will grow my harvest last year was truly dreadful I think I got one gnarly carrot and that's about all. No peppers grew, no, a couple of sweet peas grew actually, that's true, but no peas grew. So maybe my harvest this year will be much better and I'm determined to get the seeds potted up. But anyway, on to this week's challenge, week 13 and the cloakroom. Our cloakroom where we hold all our coats and stuff is an absolute mess and the bags my husband hangs up on there. And then to this side, I'd put some shelves and on these shelves. So it's just a case of sorting through, uh, getting everything back in its place, getting rid of what we don't need and sorting. So first of all, I tried to clear the floor space. I actually did this cloakroom uh, through Holy Week, just doing a few minutes every day while the dinner was cooking. I didn't really have time to invest a lot of time into, into cleaning when uh, it's Holy Week. But I did a little bit every day and it made a difference. I don't know why we keep shoe boxes, but it turns out we'd kept quite a few shoe boxes and the shoes had gone. The next job was going through. I keep this basket on the top of the, that little cupboard and I keep uh, things that we grab for quickly during the winter, uh, hats and gloves and scarves and stuff. But I decided to clear it out. Naturally, this is it set for the summer. The winter stuff is all being sorted through and goes in the basket below, the box below. Um, so this is me sorting through all of our winter clothes. You can see there are some different coloured scarves. My friend Kindly Knitted does each a Harry Potter house scarf. So I, we don't use them that much, but we do hold on to them because they're special. We won't be skiing again this year, so the ski gloves and goggles can go up in the ski drawer in our bedroom. And this is all the coats and hats ready and folded for next year. The next drawer down is going through the bags now. I don't know about you, but I tend to keep bag after bag after bag and feel that every reusable bag should be kept. But actually, we've got too many reusable bags. I think that's probably a problem that not just we have. Um, so I decided to go through all the bags and work out. I worked out that we needed probably 14 for a weekly shop. And so these are some bags that can go. And I managed to fit those bags that my husband hangs up into the box. So all the bags were sorted into the box and they'll all squash down and fit. Here we go. There's a few bags at the bottom that I use when we go away. The orange bag has plastic bags in there, just a few. And then the bags for shopping. And during going through the bags, I found came across this bag, which I've never used before, but loved to use when we went away after Easter. So here you go, my bag at Easter. But back to Holy Week and working through the shelves. And so I slowly just went through every shelf, working through everything. I, I do collect a lot of gift bags. People give me a lot of gifts. Very lucky that I am. And I kept hold on to all the gift bags and so decided to go through and work out realistically what gift bags I was actually going to keep rather than holding on to all of them and what envelopes I was actually going to keep rather than holding on to all of them. And so I just went through all the shoe boxes, all the envelopes and the bags. And it looks a lot neater on those shelves. Then I went through the top shelf and again found some more bags. So sorted through those. 
And then I have two boxes with boots in, so I put away my winter boots uh, for the winter. And then lastly, the bottom shelf has loads of random bits on. One of the bits I discovered was a bag with these banners that my friend who knitted the scarves also knitted for me. It's a New Year banner, which we didn't use this year because I'd totally forgotten about it. So I'm going to put it in the cupboard where I keep just a few seasonal items. So there we are. I went off and did that and then just sorted through all the rest of that shelf. It's good to keep things in the place where you know you're going to use them so you don't forget them. There we go. I found another birthday banner. Um, and a special banner that she did for me when I turned 40. And so those two can also go in the cupboard with the seasonal items and not on this shelf. That was a quick flash to show you our um, camping cooker, which doesn't really need to keep in here. So I took it to keep in the garage. Again, working out where's the best place to store everything. The last job was going through the coats and working out which coats to keep, which coats to go, what we needed, what we didn't need. Did discover some coats that were grown that were too small for all of us um, and so they're going to go um, to charity. So this is a bit of a pile of the boxes, the bags and the bits and bobs that I came across that can go. And here is the finished article, a lot tidier. It's not perfect, there are still things to sort through like all those tennis rackets and that um, sponging for a bench cushion. But it's better than it was, and that's what we're going for. Better than it was. And you'll see that bench cushioning being used up and coming video very soon. I hope you join me next time, where I'll be sharing with you what I got up to on week 14 and the garage. So take care, have a lovely week, God bless you.